In today's video, we'll be showing you how to make a lace heart with approximately half a cup of Peltai Premium Sculpting Medium. We'll show you how to make your foil armature, mix and apply the product, make impressions, how to neatly finish your piece and how to paint your piece. Here's all the tools you'll need. Pause the video to screenshot the full list, which is shown on screen. Always use the foil shiny side in and dull side out. That way your eye can see the shapes better. Begin by crumpling a ball of tin foil or aluminium foil into a triangle and gently start shaping this into your heart. Next, make a second one to bulk out the volume. Now hot glue them together. And compress the shape down. Always be aware that your armature should always be smaller than you wish the final sculpture to be, as the Peltai Premium will be going on top. Curl down those edges. We like to use the back of an old spoon to smooth the surface. Once you're happy with your shape, hot glue it onto a square cardboard base. Note that our base is five inches square. This will help as a size guide so you don't go too big or small. Always use gloves when mixing and sculpting in Peltai Premium. Measure half a cup. Please note cup sizes may vary depending on which country you live in. Measure approximately two tablespoons of cold water. We like to cover our bowl as the product can kick up some dust. If you don't do this, then you must use a dust mask. Mix until it starts to clump together like this. We always use this to clean out our bowl to save time later. Now knead the dough for two minutes to blend in the fibres. Your mix may be a little too wet like ours. If you need to, you can use an old towel to extract a tiny bit of water. What you're looking for is a nice pliable cookie dough consistency. Here's a little trick to confirm your mix is correct. First, roll it into a ball. Then, into a cone shape. Place the cone in your hand and press it into a wedge. Press the centre three times like so and vibrate it like this so it makes a ribbon. If it does this without ripping, then you have a good mix. It can take a little time to practice this. Keeping a little bit aside, make the product into a flat pancake shape. Drape and press it over your armature and neaten it down. If you want, feel free to grab a bit of old lace or fabric that you might like to imprint on your piece. Spray it with water so the detail will become crisp. That little bit you left aside will now be pushed into the lace, like so. You want to press it in properly to pick up all that fine detail.
Now it's ready to apply to your heart. But first, make a scratch furrow coat on the surface of your heart to make it grippy. And using your tool, press and tap your detail on and smooth it down. Using things from around your house like pens, create some more detail on your heart. You can get as creative as you want here. When you're happy with your design, it's time to cure and strengthen your piece. Using either a Ziploc bag or plastic bag, place your sculpture inside and make sure it's wrapped tight. The following day, take it out and remove the lace. Marvel at how cool it looks. Now cover it in wet cloths or towels and rewrap in plastic. You're going to be leaving it in there for another five days. This will make your sculpture incredibly strong. Five days later, remove it from its plastic. Remove the towels and the cardboard base. And do a little housekeeping. You can leave the foil inside, but we like to remove it to keep it nice and neat. Sometimes you need tools to do this. <laughs> Sandpaper can also be used to get a nice clean edge. You might notice some little hairy fibres on your sculpture. If you want, in a well ventilated area, you can burn those off with a chef's torch or lighter. Now on to painting. We use exterior grade acrylics. Gluing on a cardboard tube can make it much easier to paint smaller pieces like this. Wet down the surface so the paint flows easily. We used a delicious butterscotch colour, but feel free to use whatever colour your heart desires. Dry with a hairdryer to lock in the colour. We then dry brushed in with white highlights to make it pop. Choose your colours and enjoy this process. We used tangerine, avocado, and bubblegum pink.
and misted the edges to blend in a peachy colour to give it a glow. Now just remove that holder and place your creation anywhere you like. Sell it, gift it, enjoy it. We hope you liked this video and make sure to check out the rest of our videos for inspiration when sculpting with Paltaya Premium.